everyday space travel is approaching. Professor Chang Diaz, a Costa Rican American, mechanical engineer, physicist, former NASA astronaut, and a veteran of seven space shuttle missions, aside from being an intelligent individual. He is also an environmentalist, a humanist, and in truth, more still. A number of years ago, following his career as an astronaut, Professor Chang Diaz founded the Ad Astra Rocket Company for the purpose of developing plasma rocket propulsion technologies. With supportive funding from NASA, a knowledgeable team and years of research, the Vasimir was conceived, the most recent of which is the VX-200. The Vasimir, short for Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rocket, is a plasma rocket engine. The VX-200 has an exhaust velocity of 50,000 meters per second, which means, theoretically, this engine has the potential, with crew, to reach Mars in only 39 days. I say that again, 39 days. That is a lot better than the proposed six to eight months with chemical engines. But this is not simply another engine concept in the works. This engine has already been built and is currently being tested. Better still, this engine is uniquely flexible since it is able to, as we say, shift gears, so to speak. Meaning that the Vesemir is able to switch between low thrust and high efficiency, or high thrust and low efficiency, which makes the Vasimir a versatile engine, able to function on multiple levels within multiple situations. Though not finished, to a large degree the Vasimir has already proven itself. It is not as powerful as our muon catalyzed fusion engine, but it does not need to be, nor do we necessarily want it to be. The Vasimir is a practical, near-term form of propulsion which can be used for a whole host of needs, which is exactly what near-term space travel is going to need. So now, let's talk about how this versatile engine functions. An inert gas, such as argon or xenon, is injected into a tube where it is ionized by a helicon coupler, a kind of radio frequency coil that generates helical waves within the gas, separating the electrons from the nucleus, efficiently ionizing the gas. The resulting cold plasma is then passed along into another chamber where an ion cyclotron resonant heater, or ICH for short, is used to heat the plasma. Ion cyclotron resonant heating is a technique where an electromagnetic field corresponding to the ion cyclotron frequency is used to heat the plasma. Ion cyclotron resonant is a phenomena where ions are forced to circulate with a certain frequency when exposed to electromagnetic fields of a specific corresponding frequency. This phenomena is also used to accelerate, of course, ions in a cyclotron, hence the name ion cyclotron. Within the engine, the ion cyclotron resonant heater causes the ions to spiral around and through any remaining gas and the newly generated plasma, thoroughly heating the plasma rapidly with a high efficiency, whereby the cold plasma is now transformed to super hot plasma. 
the entire process is able to achieve temperatures as high as 10 million degrees Kelvin electromagnetically without the need for combustion. 10 million degrees Kelvin is supremely hot, especially when you compare this with the sun's core, which has a temperature of 15 million degrees Kelvin. The extremely hot plasma wants to expand outward in every direction, but is instead guided by the magnetic nozzle into a directed jet of high velocity particles traveling at 50,000 meters per second, or 0.0167 C. The magnetic fields of the nozzle replaces the solid walls of a conventional de Laval nozzle, which would never be able to withstand such high temperatures. Recently, Elon of SpaceX stated that before the Starship rocket is able to reach Mars, they must launch some 20 other Starship rockets in order to refuel the just one mission. If SpaceX made use of the Vasimir, theoretically they would be able to reach Mars in 39 days. If they used our muon catalyzed fusion engine, within a few days. More importantly, there is no need to refuel these engines in order to reach Mars. Both engines, Muon Catalyzed Fusion and the Vasimir, are very efficient. In conclusion, the Vasimir, while still under development, and that's a good thing, has a lot of potential. We're already seeing ways of improving the Vasimir. Who knows what the future holds? And on that note, I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to give a shout out to our new patrons. Welcome aboard Astron X family. Thank you. We're looking forward to working together for only together are we able to achieve interstellar travel. These are both exciting and unnerving times we live in. We'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep wandering about space. Thank you. <laughs>